Well, I am very excited to be standing here and talking to our current world champions, Arunas and Katusha, who I'm sure you all know. But I have some very interesting questions. I hope you think they're interesting. I'd like to know from you, Katusha, what is it that keeps you going? You have been dancing now out there for a long time, competing for a long time. What, what's the drive? What keeps you at it? Well, um, yes, I moved to America a long time ago, and um, I'm very fortunate um, to be competing and having a great result, really. Uh, the people can only dream to have that, and I'm very fortunate to achieve that. And I always say, um, yes, I do have this result, but that's because I started very young. <laughs> <laughs> so we feel um, what keeps us going is a love for dancing, really. You know, once you lose that, that's when it's time to go. Right. But there still has to be that inner drive that keeps you going to get into the studio, to get on the wood every day to practice. There must be something that drives you. Is it your partner? I think Katusha is the one who is driving the couple. <laughs> so, she's a she's your push. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I just watched your show, it was fantastic, but I'd like to ask you, what's your favorite dance? Oh, it changes. I think tonight it was the quick step. Um, that, lo that looked yeah. obvious to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I let them all, to be honest, but it, it depends on, uh, I think, the situation on the day, and some days uh, one dance can feel better than the other day the other. Um, yeah, but all of them are my favorite in their own way. What is your favorite dance? Well, actually, today I think I love the tango because I especially love the dress and um, the feeling of the dance. And I had my hair down today, so I was really feeling that. So it's every time you do a show, it has a different feeling. But what about this year in Blackpool? Did you feel it was your best performance? Actually, I, I think, yes, I think it was our best performance when. Uh, well, uh, our goal is to produce better and better performances uh, every time we go out and perform. Uh, it's not always that we feel that way. We would like to feel that way all the time, that every last performance was the best one. But uh, um, I think this time in Blackpool we did feel uh, what we spoke about, that we felt it was probably the best ever. Yeah. That's fantastic. And how about your most favorite show? Oh. Um, now this one was my favorite now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I, must say, I must say it was a great showcase. Uh, what, uh, what is happening here at the Millennium is uh, truly great. Amazing atmosphere. And uh, I think everything is done on a grand scale. Uh, so many things that, you know, just uh, wows you. So it was, it was great. Yeah, definitely a wow factor. And um, Actually, when what Michael said, I did the very first show for Michael when it was a dinner dance in Clearwater, Florida. Florida. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, that's very exciting. To actually keep growing to this epic level is amazing. Epic, it definitely is. I'll never forget the first time I saw the two of you do a show, and it was um, at the University of Michigan, and I just thought, that was our first show. I know, it was your very first show. That was, uh, I think, uh, scary to us, because it was our first show together, and didn't know what to expect. I, I remember there were some moments where I didn't know what to do next. <laughs> so I'm not sure whether it was that uh, visual, but it was kind of scary. I didn't see it as that visual, but I do know it was your first show, and it was very exciting for me to be there. Yeah, we were excited. It was definitely memorable, because I can almost relieve that little bit state of fear, you know, so I think it stays with you, yeah. All right, so now you've hit the pinnacle coming from Blackpool. What's next, and how are you going to stay motivated for that? Well, now we're not going to have, uh, as in, well, we have Manhattan Championships coming next week, and after that, we're going to take it uh, to a different mode. We call it for ourselves. It's going to be shows mostly. We have a summer season where we do quite a lot of shows around the world, a lot of in Asia. So it's going to be that for, for some, and at the end of summer we'll... And then of course the national championships yeah, that's in the end of that. Yeah. So that's yeah. Yeah. 
So let me ask one last question. So when you're rehearsing or practicing creating for shows, do you do that differently than you do for competition? Uh, well, putting shows together is always a very interesting process because we choose particular music uh, that we really like and then we try to uh, choreograph our number so that it's the music in the best possible way. So we find it's very interesting. Well, when, we dance, when we prepare for competitions, we're not preparing for a particular song or a track or a um, piece of music, so it's slightly different. Uh, but we like both. I mean, music is very important and you know, we have to agree first on the content, then the music, then the choreography, and then of course when we're performing shows, it's all different ballrooms. So it has to be very flexible. It's, it's a different work, but very exciting. So you, you said something important, you have to agree. How does that work out between the two of you? Arun is normally agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Katusha says, she's always right, so it's difficult to disagree. <laughs> well, I think that's a good stance. <laughs> <I've been laughs> yeah, well, it works for us, so. No, but I think um, what we... Uh, I think we're lucky both uh, that uh, we find a way how to work together well. Um, it's not most important to agree on everything and we, we accept that we have different opinions sometimes. But as long as we can uh, be productive together and constructive and work together, we're okay. Yeah, we never really had anything. We agree to disagree. But then, with the time, we actually find the best way, the best solution. Well, you are great ambassadors for us, and uh, you have lots of fans. I thank you so much, and I know that Michael's going to thank you, too, for being here. The fans loved you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.